So before we start any course, we ask a very basic question. Why should we learn this subject or why should we learn this course? Why should we learn computer networks? Again, with or without even realizing, we use computer networks on a day-to-day -day basis, right? We all use a web browser of some sort or other. Probably you're watching this on a, on, on, on a desktop software or on a browser, right? And uh, we all use email. We all video chat and audio chat on tools like WhatsApp via video call, audio calls. We use Skype, all these sorts of things. Sometimes we might also remote login to a different desktop and perform some tasks there, right? This is, this is also something that we all, again, these are, these are different types of tasks which all leverage a computer network called the internet at the background, right? So again, today, one of the most or one of the most powerful applications of modern computers. Again, by computer, I mean your standard laptop is also a computer. Your standard desktop is also a computer, right? Your smartphone is also a computer. Your smartphone, right? Even your smartwatch or any smart device that you have, even your smartwatch, even your smartwatch is also a computer as because it has a computational device. And your smartwatch, smartwatch, smartphones, desktops, laptops, all of them could be connected to some network or other, right? They could be connected to the internet itself in many instances, right? So computer networks are so widespread today that a lot of software is actually, a lot of software that you consume on day-to-day -day basis, whether you're using Gmail or whether you're doing a WhatsApp call, all of them depend on the computer networks at the in, in the backend, right? So as a computer science engineer or as an IT engineer, learning computer networks is extremely important because tomorrow you might end up building a browser, right? Tomorrow you might build an email client. So for those of you who don't know what email clients are, you might encounter Outlook. Some of you may have seen Outlook on your, uh, on your, on your Windows systems along with Microsoft Office, etc. So Microsoft Outlook is a very, very popular email client. Of course, we have web-based email clients also like Gmail where you can check out all your emails on the browser itself. Browsers, obviously, you know, Internet Explorer, you know, Chrome, you know, Safari, you know, uh, I mean, you, you know, Firefox, all of them are popular browsers, right? So tomorrow you might, you might end up designing a, an audio call or a video call system for an app like WhatsApp. What all do you have to take care of when you're building such a system? Or you might build a remote access system where you're remotely accessing your computer from somewhere else on the internet, right? So how do you design these systems? How do you build these systems? To learn how to build these systems, a good knowledge of computer networks is mandatory, right? Again, whether you are, whether you become a software development engineer or whether you become a big data engineer, again, many people don't realize this. Big data is, is now a hot topic. Lot of big data engineering revolves around leveraging a computer network to transfer or to interconnect multiple computers, right? Uh, whether whether you are a network engineer, where your job is to build the actual physical network, of course, the physical and the computational network through which all of this data transfer actually happens, right? Again, your computer networks could come in all shapes. It could be your, uh, your Wi-Fi. You could use your Wi-Fi or you could use your Ethernet or LAN cable, or it could be, uh, it could be your uh, 4G, right? You, you might be accessing your internet via 4G, right? There are multiple ways of accessing computer networks. We'll discuss all of them in some detail. And in your day-to-day -day, uh, usage of computer networks, you may have encountered some terms like MAC address, IP address, router, Wi-Fi, DNS, subnet, HTTP, HTTPS. Now, in this course, we'll learn about all of these terms and what they actually mean. You may have encountered these terms like, oh, my IP address is this, right? And I'm using a router or, or I'm using a switch or I'm using Wi-Fi. What does Wi-Fi actually mean? Okay, somebody may say, I'm using my web browser or sorry, my website works on HTTP or it uses HTTPS. What does that actually mean, right? So in this course, we will learn, by the end of this course, you know how a browser works internally, every nitty gritty detail, you know how to build and design a WhatsApp calling system or a Skype calling system. You will know how many of these internet or web-based or computer network enabled software actually work. You'll also learn the meaning of these terms and why, what they are actually at, at the very core. 
and whether you become a software engineer or a big data engineer or a network engineer for most forms of software and IT engineering you would need to know some amount of computer networks to be able to actually use them even in some instances right so throughout this course what I'll do is I'll use this software it's a very nice software it's called Wireshark again it's available for most operating systems you can download this software I will use this software to show you exactly what's happening internally okay so please please try to install this software if you want to do similar analysis on your computer also right so this is called Wireshark I'll provide a reference link in the description section of this video please install this so that you can see see because I can teach you all the theory on earth but what I want you to do is in addition to all the theory I want you to see what's actually happening because your computer your computer itself is most likely connected to a computer network right your computer itself is connected if it's connected I should be able to see what's happening under the hood right and Wireshark is one of the tools again it doesn't show us everything but it shows us some of the most important aspects and I will keep referring back to Wireshark as a tool that we'll use to understand what's happening under the hood so I strongly recommend you install this software called as Wireshark right it's available for most operating systems Mac Linux Windows etc so try to install this so that you can you can appreciate you can actually connect the theory that we are learning with the practical aspects that are actually happening on your computer right literally what's happening like for example this thing says okay that it uses something called TCP we learn what TCP is we learn all of these details okay it talks about Ethernet frames internet protocol don't worry about all these terms by the end of this course you will understand all those terms you'll understand what they mean and how to understand them in depth okay so that, that's where that's where we are headed and this is important whether you become a software engineer big data engineer network engineer whatever it is I have personally used or I have personally used the foundations the foundational knowledge that we learn in a course like this like computer networks when I had to when I had to work with big data systems like spark Hadoop etc and a course like this gave me a very good understanding of what's happening under the hood as an engineer our job is to not just use tools but also understand in depth what's happening and that's what this course is all about this course helps us understand how the whole internet itself works how different types of networks work internally and that's that, that's what that's where we are headed okay so let's get started on this journey my only recommendation is for you to install this software called as Wireshark